Okay, this is a quick video showing how the gourds are growing on my front yard garden. Uh, so a gourd, for anyone who may not know, is something like this. I'll pop it here so you can see. Uh, this is uh, a birdhouse gourd. I've cut a hole in it and taken the stuff out. This is one that grew last year. Uh, and uh, these gourds they get pretty big, as you can see from the size of it, uh, you know, just relative to the size of my hand. Uh, and uh, they grow really cool, they get this hard shell, uh, and I've planted some this year as well. And one of the places I planted a couple of seeds, I think I just planted three seeds at the base of this basketball hoop. So that's a basketball hoop uh, up there, as you can see. and. Uh, we really don't use this basketball hoop much here, although it's right along our driveway. Uh, we probably play that, play at that, you know, less than once or twice a year, but it's just been kind of sitting there for a few years from when we used to use it more. And I planted a couple of uh, seeds down, uh, down there by the base of the, uh, you know, of the basketball hoop. And lo and behold, I think I planted three seeds, and two of them germinated. And if you get a sense of the size here, again, that basketball hoop going from ground level, uh, that, you know, it goes up. I don't know, somebody would know what a regulation basketball hoop is height-wise, uh, but I'm guessing that's got to be 12 or 15 feet up to the hoop uh, and to the top of the backboard, uh, even more so than that. So, um, you know, so the gourds have grown right on up, the vines, uh, and they've spread out. And just this morning, I took a bunch of them that were sprawling out across the lawn here. Uh, and I had an extra one of these wire mesh from, uh, you know, they're used for when concrete is being uh, put in. This is, I think it's six feet by 10 feet. Uh, so I had an extra one of those. I had used a bunch of those for trellising along my raised bed, front lawn, vegetable garden. Uh, and um, here, uh, I have, I took another one of them and just a few minutes ago brought it out here. I'll show you from the other side. And I laid that along sideways here and I just picked up a bunch of the vines and started to uh, thread them out uh, through the uh, trellis of this uh, metal wire mesh. Uh, and right now it looks a little scrawny of course, but that's because I just pulled them out. Most of these were either down on the lawn or tucked in among the other uh, uh, leaves and vines. Uh, and you know, so here I've given them a little space, a little space to grow. Uh, I'm sure that uh, within, uh, within a week or so here, uh, you know, there'll be a big difference where the leaves will get you know, big and uh, lush and they'll fill in uh, that space and essentially I'll have sort of a, a wall of uh, vines growing across there. Uh, and you know those will be important to hold the gourds when the gourds you know start to grow uh, on the vines. Uh, you know then uh, this will uh, help to hold them up. Um, let me see if I I spotted a couple of tiny gourds that were just uh, starting out uh, earlier, um, but there's not too many yet. But I'm not, I'm still I'm optimistic. First of all, it looks cool even just the way that it is. Uh, secondly. Uh, we're only in early August, and um, soon enough, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, more and more of these uh, flowers will uh, hopefully get pollinated, uh, and then we'll start to have the buds form, and then the, the uh, gourds forming after that. Um, the leaves themselves are incredibly soft, velvety soft, uh, and you can see just to get a sense of size. I mean, here's here's one leaf, you know, relative to the size of my hand. It's you know bigger than bigger than two hands you know all fanned out uh, so you know here is a little bud here there's the start of what will be one of those you know similar to one of those gourds that I uh, that I just held up uh, a moment ago uh, the other thing is I have a couple of trees on my uh, on my front lawn I'm going to show you uh, what I'm doing at those when it comes to this gourd update and my idea here was, these trees are really you know, scrappy. They're actually trees that are, uh, the township has these trees, or some kind of crab apple or something, and they had looked beautiful for about three days in April when they have the um, pink blossoms on them. But the rest of the time, you can see, I mean, just look at this. There's not many leaves. 
most of the leaves that are on there you know are not in good shape and this is not just at ours but you know all around the uh, all around the uh, you know the, this stretch of the town um, so they're not the greatest trees in my opinion other than that one week in April so down at the base I planted a couple of seeds from gourds and made a few rocks just to hold the soil back and you can see what's happened is that the gourds of course have grown up the trees and here they are growing along the uh, up the tree trunk and out through the uh, out through the branches you can see going on up 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 and that's oh who knows how far up that is it's got to be 12 feet or 14 feet at least up in the air uh, and my idea of what I'm hoping for is you know as you see these branches here I kind of envision you know as the gourds start to form uh, that they'll be sort of um, you know dangling almost like uh, almost like ornaments uh, hanging you know along from you know along from the uh, you know from the branches uh, on the trees and I've done that at a couple of other trees right out here and I got a couple of different kinds of gourd seeds long neck gourds and uh, you know long you know like long neck uh, dipper gourds and uh, I think you know, a few different types. So we'll see how the different ones grow. Uh, and again, you can see them here growing out along the branches. Again, I don't see uh, much in the way of actual gourd formation yet. Um, but again, that's all right. And another one over here. And over here, I had some growing up this tree last year uh, that went up on their own. And here you can see you know, from a single plant I trained it or, or just kind of leaned it over into the, into the tree and then once it got started there, of course, yeah, nature does the rest. And you may not be able to see with the contrast here, but it's going on up, up, up. Um, and then I have here just some uh, gourds that are, uh, you know, just basically stretching out uh, along the lawn uh, itself. Uh, and a couple of things you can, I have a video on this from last year, this one is withered, but um, when the flowers of the gourd are fresh, you can eat them. Some people will, uh, you know, uh, cook them up and, you know, bread them and all of that. Or you can even just eat them raw. They they're, uh, have a really velvety texture to them. It's kind of cool. Here's one of the gourds themselves forming right there at my fingertip. This is a yellow and greenish uh, gourd uh, when it forms. Uh, the other ones are mainly green like this, and then they, uh, you know, they get brown after the after the winter. Um, so that is the scoop as far as the gourds that I'm growing on my front yard. Okay, as always, happy gardening.